um the the companies for which you have an offer for it it would vary from case to case ho sakta hai ki startup bahut hi acha hai pay kuch khas nahi kar raha but bahut acha experience de raha hai aapko ho sakta hai ki aisi ek mnc mil jaye jo ki pay bahut acha kar rahi hai aur kaam bhi kuch nahi karwa rahi hai he was working on larger scale but a smaller impact um you can say in startups you have a larger impact in the small scale What's up everyone? आज हम स्टार्टअप वर्सेज फैंग की बात कर रहे हैं कि वर्किंग इन स्टार्टअप एंड वर्किंग इन फैंग में क्या डिफरेंसेज होते हैं एंड हम ये दोनों एक दूसरे से कैसे कैसे अलग हैं कैसे कैसे सिमिलर हैं एंड वट चॉइस यू शुड बी मेकिंग तो इन अ नट शेल आई वुड टेल द फर्स्ट हाउ द पिक्चर लुक्स लाइक फर्स्टली दो पॉइंट्स एक तो ये कि इनमें से कोई क्लियर विनर नहीं है इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन वट यू रियली वॉन्ट to understand what you want to experience so and the other thing is that no matter what you choose it's also going to be fine so we'll start with this notion okay none of these choices um, is a bad choice okay whatever you choose it's not going to be a bad choice um if you love your work over there and your experience um whatever you are experiencing over there is uh, um it is adding some value to your skill um then it's it's a good deal then you should go for it whatever company it is big or small that is like hardly it matters in that domain okay and uh, majorly agar tumhari dincharya uh, sochi jaye to almost same hi rahegi dono ke dono startup ya badi company ke andar jaoge um kafi sara code likhoge to char colleagues se baat karoge and ghar aa jao तो कोड टाइपिंग एंड ऑल द वर्क पार्ट इज सेम ठीक है यू कैन नॉट से कि स्टार्टअप में ज्यादा काम होता है या फिर बड़ी एम में ज्यादा काम होता है um, काम हर जगह पे होता है इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एनी जेनेरिक स्टार्टअप और जेनेरिक बिग कंपनी दे नॉट पेइंग यू फॉर फ्री दे वुड वांट टू टेक अलॉट ऑफ वर्क आउट ऑफ यू सो काम अच्छा खासा होगा ही होगा दोनों जगह पे दैट इज समथिंग दैट यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट इन मोस्ट ऑफ द कम हम टॉकिंग अबाउट कॉम्पनसेशन सो आजकल पहले ये ट्रेंड होता था कि स्टार्टअप्स डू नॉट पे वेल बट द ट्रेंड इज चेंजिंग स्टार्टअप्स हैव स्टार्टेड टू पे वेल एंड यू कैन लाइक वी कैन नाउ स्टार्ट टू से कि जेनरिक स्टार्टअप वुड पे एस वेल सो इन कंपेरिजन टू बिग कंपनीज बोथ ऑफ देम आर पेइंग ऑन द सेम लेवल बोथ ऑफ देम आर पेइंग ऑन द um same scale aajkal the time when i am recording this video um dono hi taraf se aajkal hiring mein kafi boom chal raha hai is time pe kafi acche khase packages um offer kare ja rahe hain from startups also so it's it's the best time for you to get hired right now um usually kya hota hai ki um companies esops shares wagera aapko offer karte hain and startups ke shares jo hote hain wo they say ki when they will grow up so we'll give you more shares right now and when they grow up it will become too too big of a value so the difference over here is that a uh, established badi mnc company like fang ki koi company ya kuch um in may you know what you're getting right um a package is already established the company share value is already established and it's not going to go too high or too low in in a, in a moment okay but in startups uh, you are betting upon the future that this company will grow and this will give you that much money which happens but it happens um, um less so it is rare to uh, for a startup to grow to that level and a lot of startups fail also that's the world and the reality that we live in so yes uh, the startup esops do not really um give you a lot of information that this is going to boom and some day you're going to be very rich so don't don't plan to go into a startup because of the esops or something um startups mein kai bar bonds bhi hote hain and bond kabhi bhi sign nahi karna chahiye yaar ye meri hamesha se hi ek advice rahi hai har bande ke liye chahe kitna hi acha tumhare ko ek lucrative option lag raha ho in worst case scenario if you have already seen that okay you can stay in this company for two or three years whatever the bond period is and you think that for the current situation that you are in if you are in some kind of a situation you have to take this offer and take it that is still okay but um mujhe personally aisa lagta hai ki mujhe khud ko nahi pata hai ki agar mujhe ab ye 
अपॉर्चुनिटी बहुत अच्छी लग रही है दो तीन साल के अंदर मेरे पास जो एक्सपीरियंस आएगा मेरा परसेप्शन चेंज होएगा आई वुड बी मोर अवेयर ऑफ थिंग्स वुड आई स्टिल बी कंसिडरिंग दिस इज अ गुड ऑप्शन और नॉट सो बॉन्ड नहीं साइन करना चाहिए स्टार्टअप्स के अंदर एक ये डिफरेंस होता है कई बार बॉन्ड वगैरह साइन करवाते हैं दैट इज समथिंग बैड स्टार्टअप्स यूजली टेंड टू बी अ लिटल बिट मोर अनस्टेबल एज वेल एट टाइम्स स्टार्टअप्स के अंदर फंडिंग इशूज होते हैं तो उनकी सैलरी वगैरह कई बार uh, बहुत देर से आती है ये सब इशूज भी कई बार लोगों को फेस करने पड़ते हैं एंड दे कैन फायर यू ऑल्सो कंपनीज बंद भी हो जाती हैं अप्रप्टली एंड जॉब सिक्योरिटी इस वजह से इन सब रीजन की वजह से थोड़ी सी लो रहती है इन इन कंपेरिजन टू बिग कंपनीज बिकॉज इफ यू आर इन बिग कंपनीज द ओनली रीजन दैट यू वुड गेट फायर इज बिकॉज यू आर नॉट वर्किंग अकॉर्डिंग टू वट दे एक्सपेक्ट बट बियॉन्ड दैट बियॉन्ड दीज लॉजिकल रीजन देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ रीजन इन विच यू कैन गेट फायर फ्रॉम अ स्टार्टअप सो दैट्स अ बिग प्रॉब्लम ओके सो टॉकिंग अबाउट प्लस पॉइंट ऑफ स्टार्टअप आई गेस startup has a lot to learn um, startup may you have a lot to learn i mean so hota ye hai ki startup ke andar they are building things from scratch so whatever the big picture is it is all in front of you and you understand that big picture and make a bigger impact because you write a lot of code which is going to be uh, like completely involved in the bigger picture so pura top to bottom you design a lot of flows and work on um, big scale not not scale you would say um, the bigger picture you complete flow tum hi handle kar rahe ho so that is something um, important uh in contrast to that um, i can say ki jo badi companies hoti hain uske andar jo flows hote hain unke andar risk bahut zyada hota hai so um they have a lot of things at stake so what happens is that since they have been coding on to the same flow and making it better and better it gets complex after after a long time so when it is complex uh, the whole small things in the startup for the big flow that you were working on um every small thing in a big company would make a team of its own so five people handling a small function in a big flow something like this happens on a usual basis so if that is happening then um, the impact that you can create in such a scenario is less right you will create a smaller impact so that is a difference because you are working on larger scale but a smaller impact um you can say in startups you have a larger impact in the small scale so that that's a difference so um comparing what is more focused in these two companies uh, we have the big companies focusing more on code maintainability efficiency and uh, security so your code has to be really good because uh, we are going to have a lot of traffic coming to us it has to be very efficient and security is also a concern because the the whole thing can fail and it can be a huge loss to the company just because of the sheer scale that we are handling um since the scale is low um in startups um the speed of launching new features is what is in the focus they really do not care if things fail since the blast radius the impact radius is very limited uh, we want the code to be written fast deployed fast and everything should happen in a fast manner agar ek chote startup ki website 2 ghante ke liye down bhi ho jati hai to usse bahut bada impact nahi aane wala but just imagine if amazon.com amazon.in कम्प्लीटली डाउन हो जाता है दो घंटे के लिए तो करोड़ों का नुकसान है एंड इट्स अ बिग प्रॉब्लम कल को तो अखबार में आ जाएगा ये चीज तो दिस इज अ डिफरेंस सो दे रियली डू नॉट केयर द स्टार्टअप्स रियली डू नॉट केयर अबाउट द होल मेंटेनेबिलिटी एंड एफिशिएंसी थिंग व्हाट दे केयर अबाउट इज द स्पीड एंड दे वॉन्ट टू रिलीज न्यू फीचर्स एज सून एज पॉसिबल इन द कॉन्ट्ररी यू कैन थिंक अबाउट दीज टू थिंग्स एज a downfall of both would be that big companies spend too much time on multiple code reviews multiple levels of approval before anything moves so everything moves but moves very slowly but in startups what uh, um, happens is that things move fast but you don't really understand anything about maintainability or security or scale issues ki aapka code abhi chal raha hai to we would want to take it further but um 
वी आर नॉट स्पेंडिंग अलॉट ऑफ टाइम टू अंडरस्टैंड कि अगर यही कोड आज दस लोगों की जगह दस हजार लोग यूज कर रहे होंगे तो क्या क्या इशू हो सकते हैं बिकॉज जब स्केल आएगा तब देखूंगा विद दिस काइंड ऑफ अ मेंटेलिटी वी अबाउट फेल फास्ट फेल फॉरवर्ड कॉन्सेप्ट so um a plus point one more plus point for startup is that they have less management layers so if you want to do something if you want to get something done it's easier to get that done in startup because less number of people above you and the less hierarchy above you so you can raise your voice and you can say that okay this is the feature that we should implement we can have a round table discussion about it and then get started with it when he uh, and uh, in comparison to that you cannot even imagine to just uh, say something of a very large impact in in a big mnc because that has to be aligned to the um, annual goals of the company and what we want to achieve in this um, financial year and there are so many layers of management above you that uh, your uh, suggestions can be lim- in a, in a limited scale only um so in 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 totality i have given you quite a lot of points plus and minus um basically for both startups and big mncs i think it's not about uh, what you should follow it's not a thumb rule that okay you should always go for startups or you should always go for big mncs because if it was an answer like this it would have always been established right and nobody should have gone into the other part but uh, i think it's more of a preference thing or what kind of an opportunity you're getting if you feel like this opportunity is something that is going to add some value then go for it if not then don't go for it um startup scanner there is a lot to learn so on a broader level if you think that you want to understand things first as a as a fresher you want to understand things on a broader level then working with a startup is a good option um not because you think ki kal ko ye startup bahut bada ho jayega to bahut paisa aayega apne paas that that is not the correct intention with which you should move forward with because kafi uh, disappointment face ho sakti hai not to say ki achhi cheez hai buri cheez hai but ha ye hone ke chances kam rahe theek hai badi company mein jaane ka ye fayda hota hai ki large scale systems ki complexities ko tumhe samajh aate hain कि जो जो छोटी छोटी चीजें हम एक स्टार्टअप पे करके आगे बढ़ सकते हैं वैसा कुछ भी नहीं कर सकते हम एक लार्ज स्केल सिस्टम के अंदर वी हैव टू मेक श्योर इट इज वेरी एफिशिएंट इट इज गोइंग टू बी विद इन टाइम लिमिट ऑफ लाइक द वी हैव ऑल ऑल एपीआईज हैव टू हैव अ प्रॉमिस दैट इज बीइंग डेवलप्ड कि ये एपीआई 40 मिली सेकेंड में रिस्पॉन्स देगी ये साढ़े तीन सौ मिली सेकेंड के अंदर रिस्पॉन्स देगी एंड अगर कोई भी नया फीचर हम डेवलप कर रहे हैं तो वो उस प्रॉमिस की रेंज के अंदर होना चाहिए वरना यू हैव टू गो इन टू डिस्कशन विद मल्टीपल टीम्स कि इसका इम्पैक्ट पूरे फ्लो के अंदर 50 मिली सेकेंड बढ़ा देगा कैन वी हैंडल दैट इज इट फीजेबल इज इट फीजेबल टू इंक्रीज द कॉस्ट सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर गोइंग ऑन फॉर um large scale systems as complexities are very high so um you should that that's a big uh, thing to understand in itself so if you want to understand that you should go for an big mnc so all in all it depends upon what you want but uh, um, always do not think about things in, from a very straight point of view a uh, very simple point of view ki इनमें से एक ऑप्शन ही सही है दूसरा ऑप्शन गलत है इट इज मोर लाइक कि द कंपनीज फॉर विच यू हैव एन ऑफर फॉर इट इट वुड वेरी फ्रॉम केस टू केस हो सकता है कि स्टार्टअप बहुत ही अच्छा है पे कुछ खास नहीं कर रहा बहुत बहुत अच्छा एक्सपीरियंस दे रहा है आपको हो सकता है कि ऐसी एक एमएनसी मिल जाए जो कि पे बहुत अच्छा कर रही है और काम भी कुछ नहीं करवा रही है तो अलग अलग केसेस के अंदर थिंग्स वुड वेरी अ लॉट कि हाँ ये कंपनी बहुत अच्छी है एक्सपीरियंस भी बहुत अच्छा है बट मुझे इस डोमेन में काम ही नहीं करना है so everything depends from case to case always consider every case for yourself if you think you want to grow in this field then only go for that if not then um always look out for better opportunities whatever it is do not go for the name of a company or anything else but uh, all or the esops that they offer in startups um, go for the kind of work that you're looking forward for for doing maybe for the next 5 years or 10 years something like this so this is something that should be your priority in this and this is how i would think about my career if i have to go from this company to that company or something i would always see what kind of a value would my skills uh, have uh, to would the company have to add on to my skills
and that's it for today um if you have any concerns or anything you would want to say you can write it up in the comments if you like the content please subscribe that really helps and thank you um that that's it for today thank you bye bye